Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Oluwata Saint, back again with another video, oh, 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 for you today. And today I'm really excited about this video because we are talking jingle jangle. I know it's been a while since the film was out, but I thought I would share the experience of talking to my friend who was actually in the film with you. She had the opportunity to be one of the dancers in the film and if you've watched the film already you know that it's just an amazing film and um, as a dancer watching the dancers in there it was so so inspiring so I thought why not get her to do a little talk with me just a general chit chat creative chat if you would call it to talk about her experience doing the movie just as a way to inspire other creatives out there who have a dream of you know dancing in a film or working with a certain choreographer or being on set um, and being a dancer in a film so I thought I would put this little interview together we're going to do it in a two part so that it's short and snappy and you can catch up on the next video and yeah so now we're just going to switch to the interview and I hope you guys enjoy it if you have any questions for Martina or myself please put it in the comments and don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to this channel and yeah, without further ado, guys, let's go. So, uh, we've been meaning to do this for a while, uh, like changing oh. the dates. Even today was, you know, it was going to be the evening, but I'm glad that we could do this. Um, yeah. But basically, guys, I just wanted to interview Martina. She's my friend that I met from training at Runway House ages ago now. I, I don't know what year, probably like 2016, 2016, yeah. 17. Yeah, and Martina came to Runway House and she was just like the technical girl. She was like, so good, getting picked out. And it's just, you know what drew me to you is just your positive energy. And I think when people have that positive energy, it's it's just, it's something that attracts people to you. Do you know what I mean? It's, you know, you can tell, like, um, I saw a quote that says, you, you introduce yourself by your energy, by your aura. Do you know what I mean? So if someone was to step into a room and you just feel their energy, you're like, oh, damn, like, you, you know, you can feel something. So, but yeah, you were just hungry. And yeah. I was that as well. Even though I wasn't where I was, I was just hungry to learn. And it was nice to have that energy in the room. So, yeah. And then I came down yeah, to for work and I came to your class and I nearly died. <laughs> Oh my god, I remember, yeah, because you came to yeah. work, yeah. took class, you messaged me, that was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you were... like, oh my gosh, this is so random, I don't even know this girl, but I'm just going to message her because I'm in Manchester, and that's the only guess, you're the first person that I knew from Manchester, yeah, and that was perfect. my first time there, so that was cool. Um, but yeah, anyways, Martina, mm. introduce yourself, just briefly, of, like, you know, let them know who you are. Uh, I'm Martina. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, I'm Martina. I'm from Manchester. And um, I've lived in Manchester for like all my life. But at the same time, in terms of my career, I've travelled. I've been blessed to have travelled with what I love to do. Um, I am 34 years old. And um, my birthday is 22. So excited. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's a bit about me. Um, I trained at Northern Ballet School. Um, trained there for three years, got a scholarship, very blessed to have got that. That was an amazing three years of training. I actually started my training at Northern Ballet School when I was 24 and then I graduated three years later and then I got my first job on a cruise ship. Um, worked with Norwegian Cruise Line for three, four years. Um, due to the pandemic though, sadly, I was on my fourth contract with Norwegian and my very first opportunity with Norwegian in terms of a Broadway show. Um, yeah, doing the show called After Midnight. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. But obviously due to the pandemic, it got cancelled. Um, so we only ended up really doing four shows, if I'm honest. And literally each show that we did, we danced like it was our last time and it was awesome. So that was an experience. So I did that. Um, yeah, and that was an amazing experience working on cruise ships. And um, I think through the training, so after Northern Valley School, I, I wanted more, I wanted to keep going. So I kept taking classes in London and in Manchester, training with Shaka on the weekends and stuff like that. And then I came across One Way House, which we just explained. Literally, what drew me to One Way House was when I was on a cruise ship visiting my sister. And I seen a post about it and I was like, oh my gosh, training. Because I was like, after the cruise, I was like, I need to come back to Manchester and do something. And it was perfect because I was like, I need to get to London more to take class and good classes and like good teachers and good energy and literally when I see one way's post first of all because it's so colorful I was like yes okay this must be it 
And then I was on the cruise ship and then it got to the end of the week and I was like, oh no, I need to email now and, you know, sign up because of the time difference. I think I missed the time. I know I didn't miss it. I just made it just in time to pay and just to like sign up and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I did that. And then like I changed it one way with, with yourself from 2016. Oh my gosh. It's Ooh. been a while. <laughs> memories. And since then, but yeah, great was been happy. Journey. Like you, you've been in two films, one of which we'll be talking about today. So do you want to explain the first one? Yeah. So again, bless. Oh my gosh. So my first um, film opportunity was with um, working on Rocket Man. Oh, that was awesome. Thank you to Free Your Style for such an amazing, amazing job and opportunity because wow, um, yeah, agency, lots of love. And um, yeah, so Rocket Man was awesome. I worked from Rocket Man, which is a biopic about Elton John. And I was a dancer, featured dancer, and a bit, I did a bit of acting in, <laughs> in the film. That was awesome. That was a whole opportunity. I was working on that for um, the summer of 2019, if I'm correct. Ooh, yeah, 2019 was it. Yeah, definitely. Um, three months, four months, basically it took my whole summer and I was very blessed um, to have got that opportunity. And that was awesome. Hard work, but awesome. And then the second one, Jingle Jangle. Oh, okay. oh my gosh. That that alone again, another great opportunity. Thank you to Coots Agency for this opportunity. Like this was amazing. There's a Christmas film um, directed and choreographed by amazing choreographer um, Ashley Wan and directed by David E. Talbot. Like, it was just an amazing experience. It was so Christmassy and it was just so uplifting and it was it was a blessing and it still is, to be honest, because I just love the soundtrack. I love the song that this day was, um, the part, which was the part of the film that I was in, the scene on this day. And the song, just the song in general, guys, just listen to the song. Yeah, the song is awesome. Like I feel like the lyrics, but like you listen to it, right? Like the lyrics in itself is just so, oh, it's yeah. so true. Mm-hmm. I was dancing to it on set, but then also just listening to it to get used to it. I was like, but it's so true. Everything that they're singing in this song, sang by Sharon Rose and Jason, like it's so true. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely that's beautiful. The thing you want to yeah. connect with the, you're not just there as a dancer, but you're there to tell the story even as a dancer, it's great that you really like engage yeah. with the music and you're really connected with it because yeah, that's that's what it's all about. Um, but yeah, that thank you for that amazing introduction. Um, but yeah, <laughs> to keep this more conversational to be honest, but like yeah. just, just to start with like, ha- like how did you feel when you found out that you were, you know, you were doing, you were doing Jingle Jangle or like how did it come about? Okay, so how it came about was um, I received a, I don't know if it's the call on email. Ooh. It's either or. I got contacted directly, which again, I'm not even being funny, but that sort of stuff was on my vision board to be contacted directly for an opportunity and, you know, and also be contacted through an agency that I've always wanted to be with. So I was contacted by um, Coots Agency and basically asked my availability if I'm available for these certain dates for Jingle Jangle. And when I, I think it was an email. Yes, when I seen the email, I was just like, oh wow, this is awesome. Oh wow, like yeah. obviously it takes a while you process them, you read it and you're like, okay, cool. And then you read it again, you're like, huh? So obviously I got contacted directly and again, that's an amazing opportunity and the blessing. And then um, how it made me feel, wow, yeah. Because of the training and just the continuous persistency with training, auditioning, doing jobs and just being, just going for what I feel is for me, I felt like that was a a perfect job for me because when I seen a description and then what it was going to be, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like a fairy tale. Like, I feel like, you know what I mean? So I was like, absolutely. Um, But it just made me feel so... Oh, it was worth it and it still is worth it it's like yeah. you know when you're holding plank and you're like why am I holding it first of all to get a six pack second of all it's like keep going because holding plank to me is like holding out for opportunity yeah and yeah. that's how I plank isn't that weird but that's how I look at doing plank and like those sort of things yeah um, yeah just made me feel like <laughs> and it, it's just so amazing because um yeah everyone prays for that direct message and that direct booking and it it makes you remember that you know just keep doing the work you know someone will see you doing the work not that you're doing the work to be seen 
but oh, you're just, so, you're just yeah. so focused on your goal and I think you've been you've been a person who's just been consistent I've always remembered you and associated you with you you know with the quote train insane you know yeah train like, insane remain the same <laughs> yeah train insane or remain the same yeah and yeah. you're consistent and I think that is what it is like if you want the work you need to do you need to sacrifice and you sacrifice traveling all the way from Manchester to London to train and I think yeah you being in the film and you being contacted is is favor like you deserved it do you know what I mean mm -hmm. so that makes me happy to hear that and um you know it's not just that oh you were contacted because pe they were your friends no you they saw your work and they saw that you put in the work and yeah you yeah. you achieved one of your vision goals and um I hope anyone watching you know mm -hmm. is you're 34 like it's never too late it's never you know. it's never and your, ba your birthday is coming up as well <laughs> say again your birthday's coming up right next month your birthday's coming up i'm gonna be 35 and guys i'm still i'm still like in the midst of my career like i'm feeling yeah. like I'm, I'm i'm okay i'm bubbling do you know what i mean so if you're yeah. feeling like you're older you're not come on now like there's a lot of amazing amazing actresses actors dancers practitioners who are of a certain age because it wasn't their time then like yeah. do you know what i mean so you have to be patient and just wait yeah. and and i feel like yeah. there's a level of maturity that mm -hmm. you have when you like then start booking this certain jobs and things like that and um that you mm -hmm. don't have when you're younger do you know what i mean like at that yeah. stage in your life and you have that wisdom so yeah i don't know if you agree but um I so that way. yeah it comes with age and just taking time and just make first of all understanding yourself mm. like what do you need what is it that you're doing because I have a twin like I love my twin Melissa Gums oh my gosh love her but we're two separate people but at the same time when we're together and we're, and we're on something together then we're on it but when we're separated and we have our own agendas oh my gosh like you have to remember you are there's only one you mm, exactly mm -hmm. so true um okay so day one you going on set like Give us a little lowdown insight for people who are probably intrigued. Um, because obviously we all saw the film, we saw that so many UK dancers were in it. I was like, oh god, why wasn't that in it? But you know, it's not my time yet, but there will be a film where it's my time. But I was just so happy to see so many people I look up to, so many friends um that were in it. And um, yeah, it's an amazing film. So what like how did it feel on like day one when you like came on set and you know like yeah just just share the experience day one going on set so um just to let you know that i was on set for three four days so it's a very quick turnover so in that time it made me realize that oh wow i have my retention and like just just being present was so important like from the get-go so <laughs> okay so let's start with the journey on the way to set <laughs> I, I actually when I was doing Jingle Jangle I moved back to Manchester by then now so I was staying with my uncle and my uncle and his wife oh, and um, I stayed at theirs and I've never really stayed there before so I had to obviously plan my journey and stuff as you do anyway living in London you just have to plan I think that's just life in general so anyway I planned my journey I was like okay cool it's gonna work to plan great woke up in the morning like hours early in enough time to get up to eat do what I need to do make my journey enough crunch time in case of delays and whatever so i'm gonna cut a very very long story short um i got on a particular tram uh, tram <laughs> tube <laughs> trams in manchester <laughs> i got on a particular tube and for some reason it stopped at a certain point and there wasn't going any further and then it stopped at that point and i was like oh okay i don't know what's going on here because my app didn't tell me like what the problem was and stuff so i ended up going on another, going on a bus to go somewhere else to get onto a tube to get me to basically rehearsals or the pickup point for the rehearsal because we were getting picked up. Oh no, that that didn't go to plan. I had, I was, I went into crunch time number one. I went into crunch time number two <laughs> and I was starting to panic. Wow. At this point I found Melissa and I was like, Lisa, I'm literally like lost. Like I put it in my um, sat nav or whatever you call it and sat nav <laughs> on my phone and just basically i just got taken in the wrong direction so i cut a very long story short i rang my agent told my agent this is what was happening and basically my agent was like just getting a taxi getting an uber i looked at my bank account and i was like oh my god but i need to make it yeah so i need to make it so either way if i get overdrawn it's going to be worth it and either way i don't want to be late 
so basically i got an uber the uber cost me like 60 pounds and i was just like you know what i've just got to let that 60 pounds go and just get in that uber i was like but you then made i realized it back. you made it back exactly i made it back but then i was just like you know what like yes i made my my plan for my journey and stuff and then something got in the way but i was just like i have to overcome it Mm. when I found my agent he was so reassuring he's just like just get in an uber just get in an uber and I was just like okay cool literally that simple I wasn't even thinking of that far ahead because I like to save money yeah. but obviously this moment in time I couldn't save any money so I was just like just get in an uber go and got there so obviously I got there made it on time got, got picked up and stuff then went to the location by now in in, in the in the transportation I'm, I'm having to calm myself down because now again going on set is another whole overwhelming experience mm-hmm. so then I got on set managed to calm myself down got on set and as soon as I got there I was just like oh relax I was just like oh wow it's all worth it and I haven't started dancing yet mm-hmm. I haven't started learning choreography I haven't done anything yet. I was so appreciative of the fact that I got in that Uber I had enough money in my account to get it and then I got there and I felt so relaxed so that was the first day got there then we had costume fitting shoes and then we had to put on the big skirts on undercoats petticoats and then um yeah we just got taken around the set and stuff and that was awesome that was amazing obviously met the whole cast like a lot of the cast again were UK dancers and a lot of the cast members I knew from taking class or Mm -hmm. just known in life in general there's quite a few Manchester people who were in there with me as well which is amazing and beautiful experience with so yeah that was awesome and yeah so that first day was very overwhelming in terms of like my my morning but then when I got there it was another overwhelming but so exciting feeling when I just got on set yeah um, yeah so that was awesome that was really wow. really awesome. and then we met Ashley and um his assistant Jenny who then taught us a choreography there and then it was a case of pick it up get it and do this and it was like oh, okay retention be on it you know what I mean so yeah you know you just have to it's like something I got from Kim Taylor I know exactly what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. Like when I used to chain with him and I keep it moving in terms of like, she would always be like, I know exactly what I'm doing. And I think I really utilized that when I was on set because there was no time to waste and be like, oh, oh what is it? Like, obviously you had time to digest the choreography, but you yeah. had to tell yourself, you know what you're doing. Even though you had a bunch of dancers around me who everyone was so supportive. Oh God, it was beautiful. Like yeah. everyone was so supportive of each other. It was, it was a beautiful transition. So <laughs> that was the first yeah. day. <laughs> And it's interesting as well because Kim was actually in it as well. Yeah. So it yeah. showed that you're like, you've trained under her and you were able to utilize what she taught you yeah. to, to get through the day. And yeah. another thing also that I picked up is that, you know, in life, you're going to have many different obstacles that try to stop you from getting to your goal. But Ooh. how are you going to respond? Yes, and ma'am. it goes to show that, you know, you were wise enough to be like, okay, let me just call my agent. Like you gave yourself enough time anyways, so that, you know, if you got lost or whatever, so that you were still able to make it, you know? Yeah. So I think advice to any kind of artist or creative who wants to work, like give yourself that two hour gap because anything can happen, especially when it's like film set. You know, yeah. I've worked on some film sets as like so far away. And literally I, like, if I have to be there at 6 a.m., I would leave my house at like 3 a.m. So that I've just got that extra time in case yeah. I get lost in my car and stuff like that. So. Yeah, that's just good advice anyways from Absolutely. professional. Absolutely. Um, yeah, that's amazing. So, okay. Um, is there any kind of like moments in d- filming that you kind of felt like, oh, wow, like, you know, mm-hmm. was just really re- memorable that you like, oh my gosh, I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life. Or you feel like can encourage someone else or you just really loved that moment. Like, yeah moment of um it's so interesting because obviously the whole experience was like a whole memory but then there's one particular part and it's so interesting because i wasn't even dancing i was doing costume fitting um it was when we were finally getting our whole costume together Mm. and i think it was a process of the costume coming together and them personally matching you on your costume and your pattern and like mine had like, my favorite color is orange. And like it had orange in there, better green. And Melissa's favorite color is green. So it had that color in there, beautiful African prints as well. And I was just like, when they were just putting it together, being like, oh no, okay, no, no. I was just like, well, how do you, how did they know that was for me? And like you said at the beginning of this conversation, you were drawn to the energy and of what aura like I was giving you or what we exchanged when we met at Runway. And I felt 
that's how the costume designers and the, the team like works for each artist like okay what do they what is their color what is do you know what i mean yeah so it wasn't even doing the routine well obviously the routine them <laughs> come on amazing but it was, first of all it was it was the whole once the costume was on i was like oh, this is for me like I had pins in it and everything the first time they really put it together and then i think on day two when it was all done and i was just like oh wow you're so heavy first of all and so big and so tight um i was just like oh wow I, that was for me that was a moment being in the dressing yeah. room and finally fitted it on me and then it was a dressing room moment and then there's another moment actually when we were doing a certain piece of choreography where we were going around the christmas tree it's like a quick aerial shot that's in the film yeah. and all the dancers are like obviously going their directions and whatever so when we did a big twirl we had to do like a chene or something as all the girls skirts just look so pretty i was just like oh my god it was just beautiful and everyone's moving together everyone's smiling and it was just like regardless of how many takes we did i felt like everyone's like let's go again sort of thing mm. um so yeah the dressing room moment like when i got my final costume and then the circle around the christmas tree i would just say like you know it's i'm <laughs> it's the small things for me that make me really really happy so if something yeah. big happens Oh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Someone buys me a Lamborghini, I'm like, oh, thank you. Like, because like something yeah. so small would just make me go like, oh, wow. Yeah. Um, just yeah, never forget I, those little things. Yeah, I agree with you. And I think that that whole experience is, is so powerful because it just goes, I, I'm a firm believer that nothing just happens. Like everything is orchestrated like in its own time. So even the fact that you're saying, you know, your color's orange and, you know, it's green, it meant that that costume was made for you. Like even before you were even contacted, even before anything, like obviously I believe in God. So I believe that every plan was set out for you, like for, for it to happen. So yeah, that, that you sharing that moment to me, I'm like, oh, wow. Like yeah. I've had some experiences like that where I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like I was meant to be here at this time. Do you know what I mean? So Absolutely. that is amazing. That is mm -hmm. so amazing. And yeah. uh, how was it dancing in that? Because obviously it's tight, it's heavy and you still having to go full out, like yeah. sweating, yeah. like what was that? Wow. Yeah, yeah, I have it. Like these yes. dresses, undercoats, petticoats, um, the wiring underneath, and then above all, then we had the shoes, like little. There were heels, like the Duca heels, and like but it was the shape of the shoe, how it held your foot and stuff like that. Mm. Um, but you still, you still have to go full out, and it's funny also because like even though we had the big massive petticoats on, and there was like a couple of jumps within the choreography, you still have to do it. Yeah. You still do it. You still have to elevate. You still have to lift your legs because you don't know what camera angle that you're going to get. So could you imagine at that point you didn't lift your legs because you're like, oh, they're not going to see it because it's in my skirt. No, this is why I love repetition, training, because it's like, no matter what you're wearing, you still have to deliver the choreography yeah, given. Yeah. Like, we were on like cobbled floor as well because that was the set. And like, obviously it was still safe and stuff like that. But as a dancer, that's where you're like, okay, when I jump, I have to make sure I land here on this cobble. Um, going through my feet like then your technique just starts to hit back in because it's like I don't want to injure myself because we have to do yeah. more than we take yeah. so yeah I feel like it, it was a heavy heavy situation what we were wearing but what the you have to make it happen and you yeah. can't show that it's oh my god it's heavy you can't show yeah. that yeah. yeah and it's, it's that kind of thing like this is what you train for you know yeah. This is what you train for when you when you train with like ankle weights and like you do power training that we used to do at Runway House. It oh was you for this mindset to have, you know. And um, yeah, it's definitely yeah. right. Like you don't want to be in that camera shot that basically take take um has a take and then it shows that oh 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 that person did mm -hmm. look at my and and things like that. So wow, it's like it's like this picture here. <laughs> I can't do that move anymore. Well, if I trained. I would get back there. Does that yeah. make sense? No way I can do that. Right. I look at it for inspiration though. That's why it's there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's such a great picture. That's such a great picture. And yeah, wow. Like I'm obviously we've talked about this personally or whatever, but like for me, I'm like, oh god, wow, I'm really learning a lot from just mm -hmm. listening to you talk about the film and stuff. Um yeah. yeah, what else? What else? What else?